today we are going to discuss the wavelet transform denoising method and uh, for that purpose what we have to do is we can load a noisy signal uh, this is a noisy signal and if we see this this is how it looks so uh, starting from an example this is a noisy audio uh, audio signal you can assume uh, we will be denoising this data with the help of wavelet transform try out then we will uh, step by step see what these functions are and how they are working here you can see this is a noisy wave and this is the denoised signal as you can see there is still uh, available noise in the original waveform but that could be compromised now let's see what all of these functions are and how they are working so first of all we have this function and um, this function is dd encmp and if you grab this function and look this function into a help file you will come along that this is the default values for denoising or compression and uh, this function returns the default values for denoising or compression for the critically sampled discrete wavelet or wavelet packet transform. It will use the wavelet transform for denoising the uh, signal. So it is one or two dimensional denoising and compression oriented function. It performs a denoising or compression process for a signal or an image using wavelets. And, uh, you provide these parameters which you grabbed from the previous function you pass them here you pass the actual noisy signal here and then you give a wavelet name which you want to use as a denoising method so that's how it works and if you uh, see or oh, we are using a uh, GBL wavelet and uh, we have another function which is WDEN which is wavelet denoising is a one dimensional uh, denoising function it performs an automatic denoising process for one dimensional signal using a wavelet transform so if you see the example uh, provide the signal then you have to provide the kind of wavelet you want to use and uh, for example if we pass here these parameters and if we plot the XD data you can see the wavelet is much more uh, denoised using this function so this function will denoise the wavelet much better than the previous one so uh, let's try this method with an audio signal so here we have a noisy audio we can load this audio using a simple uh, audio read function so here i will grab this and paste it here now we have a noisy signal we can sound this noisy uh, signal i am just recording and, uh, a noisy data to test where the wavelet denoising this is technique how it to sounds. know how much it can denoise the background noise and if we just try to plot it uh, you will see this is how the noisy signal it is so the these are the silence and you can see that the very much noise here divide it the n divided by fs and we will get that we have almost 11 seconds of the audio signal and uh, let's just denoise it with the same function which we uh, use the WDEN which we estimated that it has a better denoising quality and uh, let's just simply put our noisy signal here and uh, now we have an XD data and if we plot the XD we will see uh, it already reduced the noise very much so let's try to sound it xd and f i am just recording a noisy data to test with the wavelet denoising technique to know uh, denoising method using a wavelet now i have another uh, program uh, which use uh, almost the wavelet of um, 
coif from the family coiflet family and uh, how we do that we have the same uh, uh, audio read function which and this is the denoising process we are using the coif 5 wavelet type and the level 10 then we have to provide a manual threshold value for that we uh, do a wavelet uh, wavelet packet decomposition and we will use uh, the WPDEC function for that it will return a tree uh, for you and uh, you can provide a noisy signal then we provide a level which is decomposition level we will provide 10 value for that and then we provide the name of the wavelet which we use to decompose over signal so it will decompose the signal into tree level and you will use that uh, function to pass the ex, uh, extract the details of the coefficients so you will pass the uh, detail of the coefficients and uh, wp coefficient function and you pass the tree and the number you want the detail and it will return a value you will create estimate noise level which is a median of absolute uh, delta and uh, you divide it with the 0.67 and uh, you provide a coefficient threshold value for alpha then you pass this value to uh, calculate actual threshold value using WPBMPEN function then you uh, use this uh, approximation coefficient to 1 and what this coefficient function will do um, the S parameter option specifies the soft thresholding and when we provide the S it, it means that we are doing a soft thresholding method and we, uh, which generally leads to smoother results by gradually reducing the values and when you run this section it will take a little bit time to denoise your audio file and once done you can simply plot both of signals and uh, here the these plot will look like here you will see the audio signal then you have uh, this denoised signal and uh, then if you try to play uh, this denoised signal I am just recording a noisy data to test with the wavelet denoising technique to know how much it can denoise the background noise so that's the uh, denoised value as you can see it is smoother than the previous denoise method but you can uh, try both of them and see which works for you uh, and if you plot a spectrogram for both of the signals here you will clearly see the results and and as you can see uh, the noise level is reduced here and here you can see uh, the spectrogram of a noisy signal which is very much noisy and uh, the spectrogram of denoise signal is smoother and a better denoised value of the uh, noisy signal so that's all for today's video see you in the next one if you have any question you can leave a comment below